everybody, it's Mr. Lamping, and welcome to ESAC's Geometry. Here's a brand new unit. We are going to take a look at a unit called Area. We're going to look at two-dimensional shapes. We're going to look at the formulas. There'll be a whole lot of formulas that you'll be dealing with. You're going to write these down. I would pick one place in my notes and start writing all of the formulas in the same place so you can easily find out, you know, what your formulas are when you need to do that on an assessment. So let's get things started. We're going to look at the area of parallelograms and triangles today. So we're going to start off with two formulas. Uh, first of all, area of a rectangle, you should already know, is, you know, the base times the height. So here's a rectangle. The length of the base, or some people call it length times width. Uh, but I want to use the term base and height because we'll be using those terms quite a bit, not only with area, but later on we'll be looking at some three-dimensional shapes. And we'll talk about, we'll talk about bases and heights of those shapes as well. So anyway, uh, so the, the bottom is going to be called the base. It doesn't have to be the bottom. The height is perpendicular to the base, and that's important. It's got to be perpendicular to the base. And so the area is just simply the base times the height. That's the area of the, of the rectangle. So as we change the shape to a parallelogram, how does that change the formula? Well, it doesn't change it at all. Now, the problem that students have is when they get a picture of a parallelogram, a lot of times you're given this slanted length. And so a lot of times people just take the base times that slanted length, and that's not right. You'll get the wrong answer for that. Remember, the base and the height have got to be perpendicular. And so here we have the base on the bottom, and the height is going straight up. Here's another example of this. Here's a card, three by five index card. It will have an area of 15 square inches because it's three times five. But if I take and I draw a line like I did here and I cut that line, take my scissors here and I'll cut this along the line, what does that do to the area? Here's my card, which was three inches by five inches. If I take this piece and simply move it to the other side, I now have a parallelogram. I didn't take away any of the area. It's still three or five inches on the base and three inches on the height. I didn't remove any area, so it's still 15 square inches. So that's why the base, which is the bottom, and the perpendicular height would be what you want to measure. This is actually longer than three. You don't want to use that. All right. So we're also going to take a look here at this, this concept, because this concept confuses people quite a bit. The base doesn't have to be the bottom. Here the base is the bottom, and the height or the altitude is perpendicular to it. But as long as you just have a line and another perpendicular to it, you can measure that way. So if you think about this shape, if I turn it, it might be easier to see. So here's the base, and the perpendicular to it would be that distance. If we drew it inside, it would be that height right in there. That is also a way to find the area. You can use either one of those measurements. It should give you the same answer. And we will look at an example that sort of proves that here in a little bit. So. Uh, we have to make sure that it's perpendicular. It's also true for a triangle. And if we look at the area of a triangle, we'll look at that formula. It is only half the base times the height. And here's an example of that. <clears throat> so I take the card, which again is three by five. And I'm drawing two uh, slanted lines from the top to the bottom. Let me cut those out. Okay, so I now have, here's the card, let me put the, put the pieces back together. Here's the index card, which is three by five, that has an area of 15 square inches. If I remove these two pieces, I have a triangle. This triangle is obviously less than 15 square inches, but how much less? So let me do this, take these two pieces, if we turn them, you will see 
that they make up, and I'll have to zoom out a little bit, they make two triangles that are actually congruent. They're identical. I could take this one and set it right on top of that one. They would be identical. And so simply taking the area of the card, 15 square inches, and removing half of it leaves me with 7.5 square inches. That's the area of the triangle. So remember, it's the base, this base, but it's the height that is perpendicular. That's the height, which was 3 inches. And so we have to take half of 5 times 3. That gives us the 7.5. And, and there's our notes for the area of the parallelogram and the triangle here in section J1 as we start area. And let's take a look at some examples coming up next.